AMD RDNA 3 Navi 31 flagship GPU allegedly rocks six MCDs with up to 384 megabytes of infinity cache with 3D vCache packaging. Brand new information regarding AMD, AMD's RDNA 3 flagship GPU, the Navi 31, has been revealed by Kepler L2, according to which the chip can rock up to 384 megabytes of infinity cache in st standard and 3D packaging. The information is specifically for the AMD RDNA 3 flagship, the Navi 31 chip. So far, we don't have any information regarding the top chip, which is only known as the Navi 3X. So Navi 31 should retain the flagship position when it launches this year and might get replaced by faster variants next year. With that being said, the AMD Navi 31 GPU is confirmed to rock an advanced chiplet packaging design with next generation Infinity Cache. According to Kepler L2, who digs around various patches and logs within AMD's drivers, it looks like the Navi 31 GPU will be rocking up to six multi-cache dies. Remember, they're not only doing multi-core modules, but they're also doing this multi-cache die. So 384 uh, is going to be absolutely insane megabytes of cache, especially if you consider the fact that NVIDIA is increasing their L2 cache by up to like 10x or something, and they're still only going to be at like 96 megabytes of L2 cache. Each MCD allegedly features up to 32 megabytes of standard cache and will also come in 3D vCache flavors. This rounds up to 192 megabytes of standard cache, but the insider mentions that there will also be a few variants with 3D vCache and those will go up to 384 megabytes of infinity cache. The infinity cache also comes in 32 megabyte size, half of what is featured on the Zen 3 3D vCache parts, 64 megabytes for reference. But since there are six MCDs to work around, or the, the chip can theoretically offer an additional 384 megabytes of infinity cache through 3D packaging. So that's 192 megabytes of standard and 192 megabytes of 3D vCache for a total of 384 megabytes infinity cache. That's a 3x increase over the AMD RDNA 2 flagship, the Navi 21, which only features 128 megabytes of total infinity cache. The infinity cache architecture helped AMD pump more bandwidth to the GPU, which allows it to remove memory bottlenecks and offer a fast cache close to the GPU rather than going through the VRAM. The AMD Navi 31 GPU, the flagship RDNA 3 chip, would power the next generation enthusiast cards such as the 7900 XT. We have heard that AMD will drop compute units in favor of work group processors on its next gen RDNA 3 GPUs. Each work group will house dual compute units, but with twice the SIM D32 clusters as opposed to just two on each CU within RDNA 2. Rumors are that AMD has the option to select between Samsung and TSMC for the 6 nanometer die. According to the latest information, the Navi 31 GPU with RDNA 3 architecture is expected to offer a single GCD with 48 workgroup processors, 12 SAs, and 6 SEs. This will give out a total of 12,288 stream processors which is lower than the previous count. This will also drop the overall compute performance unless AMD goes crazy with over 3 gigahertz clock frequencies on its flagship part, which I think at this point we're pretty much expecting as far as frequencies go uh, from everything I've read. The Navi 31 GPU will also carry six MCDs, which will feature 32 megabytes of infinity cache per die and are also likely to carry the 64-bit, 32-bit by two memory controllers that will provide the chip with a 384-bit bus interface. And that should be obviously welcome from the mining perspective because a larger memory bus means better performance on memory intensive algorithms. And that's what we're looking for. As for clock speeds, the AMD Navi 31 GPU is said to offer clock speeds that can hit or even exceed three gigahertz. NVIDIA's flagship GPUs are also said to offer close to 2.8 gigahertz clock speeds, but AMD has had a clear advantage in clock speeds over NVIDIA during the past generation, so it's expected to continue. 
A three gigahertz clock speed means that we can expect over 75 teraflops of FP32 performance on the newest flagship, which will be a 2.3 increase over the current RDNA 2 flagship, the 6950 XT. Now this is going to result in higher power draw and AMD seems to have confirmed that this much in that their next generation graphics card lineup will feature higher power consumption, but they will still be more efficient. The AMD RX 6950 XT already has a total board power of 335 watts. So for a greater than 2x performance gain, we can expect a final total board power for the Radeon RX 7900 XT to end up close to 400 to 450 watts. The cards are expected to launch later this year as confirmed by AMD themselves. Now here is basically Navi 10, Navi 21, and Navi 31 all compared together. And you have your multi-chiplet die, which is the big change, obviously, on the 7000 series. You have basically an increase of 50% on the shader engines. You have 30 work group processors per MCD, so that includes a 60 in total. And then for the memory, which is what we're interested in, we are getting, well, they said we were going to get a bump to... 384 bit but here is showing 256 bit of gddr6 and that would be on a 7950 xt for that SKU. so i still don't know if we're getting you know i know we're getting 384 bit bus on or not bus but a 384 bit uh infinity cache or 384 megabyte infinity cache but then they also say down here let's see if we can find it again I mean, we can just 384 384-bit bus interface right here. So within the article, they say there's a 384-bit bus interface. Now, obviously, this is all rumor. We don't know final specs for, for certain or anything like that. But then on their spec sheet on WCCF Tech, they're listing a 256-bit bus Obviously, we would prefer that <clears throat> that we get a 200 or a 384 bit bus, but we'll just have to wait and see. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Crypto Mining Show. You can check out the full episode here or more crypto content down here. Also, I'd like you to check out my locals page at sonofatech.locals.com where you can become a member for free or choose to be a $5 a month supporter that unlocks additional content.